like, uh, I don't know, I'm saying he looked good in those glasses, man. I know I was teasing you yesterday, but I like it. I think it looked good. They got good frames. Oh! Uh, What's going on? How's it going? Welcome, welcome once again to another great uh, Thompson Island virtual beer dinner. I am Chef Lou, uh, the head chef here at Thompson Island, accompanied by Senor Jimmy Vaughn. Brewmaster uh, Jimmy. That's right. Brewmaster uh, here. Brewmaster awesome. here. That's right. So <laughs> we're here to show you what we've been doing. Uh, and I guess we call it work, right? Yeah. yeah. We got a great lineup for you, though. Really yeah. stoked for this one. This is great. The weather's really been a lot more beautiful. This is a lot of fun. We got some cool new beers coming out for y'all. Uh, what do we got for the first course? Uh, so, for the, so for the first course, uh, you know, we wanted to have something light, something fresh, something fun. Yeah. So we have uh, some whipped avocado. Uh, it's kind of like loaded, think like a seafood loaded big potato, but inside of a, an avocado shell. So you have that whipped avocado, um, the roasted corn, the fresh lump crab meat, um, the cilantro lime aioli drizzled over it. Um, I mean, this one and some, you know, juicy uh, queso fresco. Like it's, it's just a really nice, refreshing, fun summer app. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a little, with a little richness with the whipped avocado yeah, and the queso fresco. Yeah. And everything. yeah. Cool. Well, we're pairing that with uh, No Bad Days, our Southern Delaware lager. Uh, it's super light, crisp, clean, little biscuity maltiness on there, slight noble hop herbal note on the finish. Oh, yeah. Uh, just like, but just great anytime beer, hanging out at the beach, chilling out with beer dinner, whatever. And with this, I thought it'd be nice because it's really nice because it's like really crisp and clean, helpful to open up your palate. And also like, you know, the slightly rich, especially like that avocado with like kind of cut through that. It'll go great with the, uh, uh, with the crab yeah. in there as well, because this is great pairing with seafood. Uh, sure. So there's a lot of notes in there that this is going to pair really, really nicely with, but not be like super overwhelming and help open up the palate for the rest of the, uh, the dinner. Yeah, yeah, sure will. Yeah, it's definitely like that that crisp refreshingness that you get from it just really will pair off yeah. well with the avocado. And, and we got it in cans now, yeah. so you can take it like anywhere. Yeah, take it yeah. to the beach. Have some fun. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. All right. All right, what's the second course? What do you got so, there? With, with the second course, obviously, like we're a wood fire grilled inspired Ooh. concept. We have we we uh, dabble a lot with those types of things, with steaks and burgers and whatnot. But it's also fun to wood grill vegetables too. Yeah. Um, and you know, with the seasons changing and whatnot, it's fun to be able to get a, a little bit more uh, vegetable focus. So. With this salad, you have a wood grilled asparagus salad. Oh, um, there's roasted carrots in there that are also uh, wood fired as well. A little bit of kale, um, some citrus, and then it's all tossed up in a very simple, light tahini dressing, mm. um, which just kind of rounds out all of those flavors. So you get that nice little citrus pop that always works well with beer. And yeah. then you get um, those nice roasty sweet notes from the carrots, and you get the smokiness from the wood fire on the nice. asparagus. This yeah. is a really good salad. Cool. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Well, I'm really stoked for what we got paired for. We got Dunkel Alls, which is a Dunkel Vice. Dunkel Weiss is a dark Hefeweizen, is basically what it means. So Weiss for uh, for wheat beer, Dunkel, dark, so it's a, dunk, it's a dark wheat beer. Yeah. Um, but don't let the dark fool you. This is most definitely a wheat beer. You know, it's light, it's refreshing. It's got strong notes of uh, banana and clove, like a proper German wheat beer does. Uh, and then just a little bit of dark malts in there that kind of give a light, nutty, toffee, dried fruits, like figs and, 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 and dried currants sort yeah. of note in there. Uh, raisiny, and that's gonna go great with those wood grilled vegetables. Oh, yeah. Like really yeah, nice, especially like with that. a banana and clove right up front, going with that vegetable mat, uh, uh, that vegetable uh, 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 flavors, and then the uh, the slightly dark, you know, just very light dried fruits, very light nuttiness on on with the wood and the smoke. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice. The citrus and exactly, the yeah. Salad and a tahini dressing, which also kind of adds that like sesame nuttiness yeah. to it. Yeah, 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 a little sesame, a little nuttiness, yeah. a little savory. Yeah, yeah. this is gonna be a really, really nice pairing, and I'm super stoked with how this one came out. You know, yeah. I've never I've never actually brewed a Dunkel Weiss before, and I, I love it. It's great. Nice. It's a lot of fun, and I yeah, think it's, it's a great, great beer. It's yeah, a really great beer. Stoked. Yeah. All right. So show it Dunkel Alls. All right, so after <laughs> after Tuggalos, uh, you go straight into the third course. So the third course is a lot of fun. There's a lot going on there. We have a confit uh, duck leg. Um, so confit is cooking it essentially in its own uh, fats. So all right. it can retain all of its own moistures and cook in its own flavors, thus making the flavors even stronger. Um, so you have that confit duck leg. It's going over a tarragon polenta with some goat cheese. 
Um, so there's a little bit of that like nuttiness of, of, along with that too, and some creaminess, you get that corn pop, and then we threw some spicy blackberry compote mm. on the top. So it's a little bit, you get that sweetness, you get that fruitiness from the, from the blackberry, but there's like that touch of heat that we threw in there that just kind of really rounds out, cuts through some of that fattiness that you get uh, from the duck leg, and Sounds then a delicious. little light pea tendril salad to kind of rope the entire dish wow. together. There's a lot going on with <laughs> this, and there's a lot of flavors, and all of them are incredibly complimentative of beer. That's awesome. Well, we've got a really complex beer going with it. So it's our latest IPA, uh, Mischievous. Mischievous is super tropical, hazy, New England-style IPA. We used all New Zealand hops in it, Waiiti and Riwaka. So it's got really strong notes of pineapple and uh, peaches, gooseberry, kumquat, uh, and just like really, really hazy uh, uh, and just like full on tropical aromas and, and, and flavors going on in there. They're going to go great with that uh, blackberry. They're going to go great with everything in there. It's, it's a really, really nice IPA. It came out very good. Really super low bit of this as awesome. well. Yeah. Really yeah. digging it. Yeah, that's really awesome. awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think that all of that would go like Mr. Yeah. Mr. Go great with the duck leg. Yeah, that kind of stuff. absolutely. Um, and what's for dessert? Dessert is sure. awesome. It's like a spring ver the, uh, t the pastry team threw together like a spring version of a tres leches. Tres leches is yeah. a um, is a, a very classic dessert of just like a soaked uh, cake uh -huh. um, with different type that's soaked in different types of uh, milks. Um, yeah. With this, they three different types of milks, that's right? If, that's I, right. if I understand tres my Spanish, woo! Right. <laughs> Thank you, high school Spanish. Nice. <laughs> so. Along with this, though, they have uh, like a Thai tea uh, folded into it. All right. Um, you know, caramelized white chocolate milk uh, that's folded into the tres leches as well. And then you have that berry mousse and the macadamia nut crunch that yeah. really kind of add to that spring and light flair and really kind of like lift what is, you know, generally considered to be sort of a heavier um, dessert. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's light, it's fruity. It's chocolatey, it's got that the tea punch, it's a delicious. Oh wow, man, that sounds delicious. And the berry mousse is gonna go perfect with the beer that we got for it, because you know how we roll two desserts when you get dessert. Yeah, so we got our latest ex escapades, which is a double blackberry, strawberry, black currant. So just like really loaded with berry, lots of berry flavors, really nice, good sharp tartness to it as well though. Uh, but then we conditioned it on some brown sugar to balance out the sweetness and the, and, and the sour. Uh, and that's going to go really, really nicely with all that, especially like, you know, the milky tres leches and then the berry mousse on top of it there to really bring it all together and everything. It's yeah, I, yeah I imagine that's just going to like punch through it and yeah. allow it to, to be like, so that every new bite that you get is just kind of like cleansed and you get to enjoy all those berry flavors totally. and like the richness of the dessert all over again. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Berry. It's going to be great. Yeah, always come out great. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. That's what we got lined up for you. Uh, stay tuned for our next beer dinner. We'll be sure to let you know all the details, and we'll see you guys later. From Lou and Jimmy, take it easy. Take Cheers. It easy.